we are on page 36 and 37 for most of us. It's the political map. And some of you, the page numbers are a little different, so just find this page. Now, I know the last time we did math skills, we read about the political map, and we looked at the boundaries of states, and then we looked at the boundaries of countries. And we noticed that the state borders are like a solid line. And they're invisible. They're imaginary. And the national borders are like dotted or dashed. And they're also imaginary, imaginative. Like you have to use your imagination. There's really not a fence there. There's just an invisible line. Wait, Ms. Murphy, no. Now, today we are going to fill in the blanks with the correct word or symbols. Okay, so we're going to look at number one. It says Canada is blank of the United States. Okay, so look at Canada and look at the United States here. Which direction, and look at your compass rows, and I see our compass rows up here in Canada. If I was in Minnesota, which we are, we are in Minnesota right now, which is the United States, and we were to go to Canada, which direction are we gonna go? Mason, which direction? Up. But up is not a direction. We wouldn't go up in the sky. That up is like up in the sky. So up is not a direction. Look at your compass rows. Wyatt, what do you think? North. North, yep, so I think we should put in north. Canada is north of the United States. So N, N or O, R, and then T-H. What is a really easy word to spell? Okay, number two. Again, we're going to start with Canada. Canada is blank of Mexico. So Here's Canada again. Here's Mexico down here. So if I'm going to pretend that I'm in Mexico and I want to go to Canada, I know how Mason said to go up, but that's not the direction that we want. What is it, Ingrid? South? No. Oh, yes. North. It's north again. Yep. So Canada is north of Mexico. So it's north of the United States and it's north of Mexico. So again, we're going to write the word north, and it has the or sound. Yes, We're in Minnesota, right here. My mom and dad love to go to Mexico. And go at Every year. My mom goes to Mexico. Ten times a year. Ten times a year. I know. I think you're exaggerating. Maybe not ten, but they probably go a lot. My they mom probably enjoy. Okay, number three. Like the years. Atlantic Ocean is blank of the United States. So we have the Pacific Ocean over here, the Atlantic Ocean. So if I was in the United States, which we are, and we were going to go to Atlantic Ocean, which direction would we go, Addie? West. Mm, west would be that way. We would go to the Pacific Ocean. Wait, what do you mean? So we want to go to Atlantic Ocean. Oh, then east. East, yep. So if you want to go to the Atlantic Ocean, we're going to go to the east. And this Ow. is my compass rose up here. And I know I have to go to the east. So the Atlantic Ocean is east of the United States. Now, the Pacific Ocean is on the blank coast of the United States. So, the coast is like the very edge of our land. So, Journey, if we want to go to the Pacific Ocean, which direction would we go? We'd have to go west. You are right.
You're right, Journey. That would be perfect. Like if we were talking about Minnesota, we would have to go southeast. There's two directions we'd have to go. You're right about that. But on the question, they're talking about the United States as a whole. So, but you're right, if we're in Minnesota, we'd have to go southeast. So, what do you think, Wyatt? You need to write out the words, Stacy. No, we go East Atlantic Ocean. West, good job, it's on the West Coast. There's technically, um. Fifty-four states because you know how um, Hawaii is an island. It's it's included in our fifty states. Because there's oh, yeah, but it's it's one state. Midway. Yeah, it's not really fifty-four states. It's just one state. Okay, because look at Michigan. Michigan is two parts, but we but it's still one state. Okay. On this map, the symbol for the national border is a line like this. So if I look at the national border down in my key, what does the national border look like? What do you think, Brooklyn? There's some states when you cross, right? And so do you just see signs? Is that what you see? Okay. All right, number six. The blank ocean forms part of the border of Oregon. So if you look at Oregon, Oregon is way over here. One of the borders over here is water. Who can find, figure out what is that ocean that goes way up here that is part of Oregon? Lila? It is the Pacific Ocean. So they already have the word ocean. So you just have to write a number six, Pacific. E-A-C-I-F-I-C. -I -I yes, why? What you should do on number five. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, Lila. I kind of forgot to mention that because Brooklyn was talking and I got started. Um, so, the, yeah, just put a dash line there. Okay, number seven. The blank ocean forms part of the border of South Carolina. So, South Carolina, guys, is on the east coast, right down here, kind of by Georgia and Florida and by North Carolina. Part of its border is also the ocean. Which ocean? Or Aria, what do you think? Which ocean? Do you say that name? <gasps> yeah, good job, Atlantic Ocean, good job. So on number seven, you just have to copy Atlantic, A-T-E-L-A-N-T-I-C. Wait, I can see that. I can see that. All right, number eight. Arizona shares a border with the state of. So we're going to find Arizona down here. Arizona? Now, when I look at Arizona, there are one, two, three, four, five 
states that share a border with Arizona. So you have five choices. You're going to only have to write one of them. So Wyatt, what is one state that you could write? California. Yes, California is one of them. What's another one, Kaden? New Mexico. New Mexico is another one. <laughs> Lewis? Mexico. No, that's a country. Uh, New Mexico is a state. Colorado. 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 It touches in the four corners. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Aria. What was it? Nevada. No. See how Texas is green and doesn't quite touch Lewis, the green one over here. <gasps> Lewis. Riley.